about my work. I'm sure she won't notice that it's a different head. That chess piece has been reminding me of something all along. Now I know what. Like a disco ball. Just like in the good old days. But it's too bright in here to see the points of light. Click. Romantic. Just what I was looking for. Now all that's missing is the unicorn tail. Oh, that looks great. Can you help me put it on? It would be my pleasure. Does it suit me? Not only you. Larry! <laughs> you made it! Romantic light, my costume. <laughs> you really earned the next bit. And since I saw in your timber profile that you like Scroonicorn, I will grant your wish. You can do anything you want with me. I mean, everybody else does. Okay, the security word is approximation algorithm. But you have to pronounce it very clearly. <laughs> Might not be that easy with the ball in your mouth. <laughs> no problem, baby. Although, what? So, how was it with your girlfriend? I don't want to talk about it. Ah, it couldn't have been that bad. Come on, sit down. No thanks. I'd rather stand. I can hardly wait to hear my new timber score. Your timber score is 38. Hmm. Well, at least it's a little higher. What's the status of our new model? Have all the mistakes finally been ironed out? Almost. There are still some durability tests to be done, and the new Pi software is still being calibrated. As long as this prototype doesn't turn up in some pool of piss, everything is on track. <sighs> I don't understand what your problem is. You're on top. You can have anyone. People worship you. And then you decide to go and get shit-faced in the only bar we haven't shut down yet. And you lose the prototype. He must have put something in that weird beer. You're putting everything we've worked all these years for in danger. Don't forget our deal. Of course not. Never. Larry, 
You have new suggestions on timber. And presto. <laughs> Keep it up and stay fit. Nari's not here anymore. She probably needed a break after our date. The data seems to have transferred automatically. Hopefully Anu can figure out what to do with the data. Did you get the data from headquarters? Here you go. Excellent. I can hardly wait to see what you've found. So, uh, what about our date? Oh, later. I have a couple of things I need to do, and then I'll, uh, get back to you. Things? Hi. Uh, where is she on timber? Anu Singh is no longer listed as a contact. Damn it. Incoming call from Anu Singh. 
You want to take it, Larry? I always take calls from my admirers. Oh. Accepting call. Larry? I knew you couldn't resist my charm. Are you ready for our date? Larry, meet me at the Salon de Lazard right away. I'm on my way, baby. Hmm, I knew she wouldn't be able to stay away long. Yes, that would be it. I don't know where you got that information, but you have nothing on Prune. Don't be so sure of that, BJ. You can't stop, Prune. The keynote speech is coming up, and the new Pi phone will sell even better than its predecessors. Prune has new lost wages under control, and there is nothing you can do about it. We always win. Larry? What did you and BJ talk about? I just happened to see him here, and I thought I had something on him. But BJ's right. The data you collected is useless. It doesn't reveal any of Prune's secrets. I don't work well under pressure. Anyway, there's nothing more I can do about Prune. Why do you hate Prune and BJ so much? I worked at Prune until recently. I thought it'd be a great stepping stone after my studies, and everyone wants to be recruited by Prune. But I soon realized that the job didn't fulfill me. Don't you dare say a single word. Besides, I had found evidence that Prune is hiding something. And Prune now permeates everyone's life. Before I found out what it was, they fired me. Now, as a lawyer, I try to help all the oppressed. And while I'm at it, I want to find out what that BJ is hiding. If only there was a way I could enter their headquarters myself. Not a single word about that either, Larry. I found something on the stick indicating that there's a secret server somewhere in BJ's Skyloft. But that's the most secure place in all of New Lost Wages. Absolutely impossible for us to get in there. BJ is a dork. Yeah, but the problem is more that he's too intelligent. Anyway, something's not right there. He always acts so differently when that faith is around. Do you have any idea how to get into the Skyloft? Well, you'd need BJ's access card and a whole lot of luck. BJ always carries that gold card with him. Maybe you could go back to Prune and ask around a bit. Maybe a date with me would help you think of something else. But probably depression isn't something I really need at the moment. Let me think about it. Good idea. If only there was a way I could enter their headquarters myself. Not a single word about... I found something on the stick and... But that's the most secure... What? Good idea. Hey, you there. I lost my access card. I have to go up to the Skyloft right away. Uh, it's not that easy because the security protocols won't allow it. I don't care. I met that stupid lawyer earlier and must have lost my access card somewhere along the way. Uh... Prune Security Protocol, Section 34, Paragraph 12, a uh, lost access card can only be reissued after a thorough security check. What? Who made a stupid bloody rule like that? Um, that would have been you, BJ. <laughs> uh, just give us a second. Uh, we'll get everything ready. BJ lost his access card while arguing with Anu in the Salon de Lazard. <laughs> I should look for it. No, I don't think that's a very good idea. No, no. I don't think that's a very good idea. No. No.
No, I'm not taking that. I can't really imagine the access card ending up in there. No. Maybe BJ's access card slipped into this narrow crack. No, I guess not. BJ's access card could have slipped under there. No. no. That was a stupid thing to do last time around. Maybe BJ lost his access card here. No, it's not there. BJ's access card could have fallen into the cracks. I'll be darned. There it is. Well, look what I found. BJ's access card. He must have lost it when he was arguing with you. This is our only chance. We have to get to Prune immediately. Come on. Larry, come on. We don't have time to lose. Don't just stand there looking like a pole-axed wombat. Help me! Huh, we're ready for the security questions. Then get a move on. Right. Huh. Name? <sighs> Bill Jobs, in case you didn't notice. Address? Here in the Skyloft. Where else? Favorite animal? <sighs> I've already connected my Pi phone to BJ's computer. Where's the cable? No, via wireless data transmission. This thing even has a built-in modem. Wait, I'm looking through the data on the computer. And you can just access that? It's a Unix system. I know this. I don't get it. I can access the computer because I have big breasts, Larry. Oh, of course. Hmm, that's strange. I guess that entry wasn't correct. This is BJ's computer, but it doesn't have any company data on it. But it was clear that there must be... There has to be something else. I need BJ's access. That can't be combined. Animal? Alpaca. Third middle name of your second degree aunt. Roberta. Favorite color? Plum. Uh, uh favorite fruit? Uh, I think I can guess. Security sign? Capital B, four times equal sign, capital D. Oh. What now? I think I made a typo. We have to start all over again. Oh. Name? <sighs> Bill Jobs, in case you didn't notice. Address? Here in the Skyloft. Where else? Favorite animal? Alpaca. Third middle name of your second degree aunt? Roberta. Favorite color? Plum. Uh, uh favorite fruit? Uh, I think I can guess. Security sign? Capital B, four times equal sign, capital D. 
Oh. What now? I think I made a typo. We have to start all over again. Oh. I guess you need an accent. Name? <sighs> Bill Jobs, in case you didn't notice. Address? Here in the Skyloft. Where else? Fifth. Alpaca. Third middle name of your... Roberta. Favorite... Plum. Uh, uh favorite fruit? You can enter some kind of code. Something's happening. What is that thing? Great, Larry. That's a secret server. What's on it? These are all internal prune documents. I'll copy them over. Oh, great, Larry. Thanks a lot. It should definitely contain something I can use against Prune. You're very welcome. Wait. Let me give you the highest score on Timber, and... You know what? I have this urge to abuse BJ's desk. You want to dump out the drawers? I want to have wild sex on his desk. I've, uh been wondering how you've resisted me for so long. Oh, I just have so much self-control. Let me show you something. <gasps> what was that? Let's get out of here, Larry. Quick! But I'm... I was going to... Uh, Anu? Where are you? What? Larry? Oh, uh, I've been waiting for you, baby. What are you doing in here? What's going on here? Ah, well, it's uh, time for our date. I don't have time for this shit. The most important keynote of my career is underway down there. And then all of a sudden, the motion detectors here in the office go off. What has BJ done now? Did he let you in here? I can't deal with you right now. I'll deal with you later. What? Who the hell is that? Maybe you should just answer it. Great idea. Hello? Larry, it's me. Dave? It's Anu. Oh, okay. Where have you been hiding? I jumped out of the window. Oh, God. And used my bra as a parachute. This is the first time I've ever regretted not wearing a bra myself. I was already able to take a look at the material. It includes all the technical details of the new Pi phone. I'll have to have it checked by experts, but I think it contains undocumented features. We'll be able to use that to get them. And when the time is right, when Prune is reeling, I'll use it to destroy them. Anu! She hung up. Huh. Now that I've gone on all my dates, I should have a fantastic timber score. Pi, how many points do I have now? Forty-five. What? That's all? How many women would I have to go out with to get to 90? With the best rating, 774 women. Oh, I love a challenge. Hmm. Wouldn't the Timmer data have to be on the server here? Confirmed. So, all I have to do is hack into this server and set my score to 90. But there's one more thing. <gasps> Today, we're proud to present you the all-new Pi Phone. 
It's the best Pi phone ever. We have improved every little detail. The corners are not 0.5% rounded. The color is completely new. There is a new wallpaper. Hmm, the server looks a little different than they did back in the day. If only I knew which interface I could use to access the system. Maybe I can help. Yes, please. Connecting to server. Oh, a protocol server. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Wouldn't he like to know? Beep, 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 beep. The old smoothie. Get a room. Oh, that's just my human. He's harmless. Uh, I mean, beep 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 beep. Now reset my timber score. Just a second. Beep 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 beep. Done. Your timber score is now ninety. Finally. Now Faith has to keep her promise. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, well, what happened this time? Oh, I used one of your pickup lines, and he just took off. Those things only work if you have the right look. Oh. Wait, what's down there? Whoa! What are you doing? I think the server's down. Larry, you goddamn idiot. This keynote has to be absolutely perfect. You're going to play along. Yes, talk about an entrance. Put your hands together in a big round of applause. To present the new Pi Phones features, I would like to welcome our, uh, Chief Erections Officer, Larry Laffer. Just read what's on the teleprompter. Technology changes all our lives, and technology is only as good as the software that drives it. Isn't that right, BJ? Friendly laugh. Yes, uh, Larry. At Prune, we don't just want our software to be revolutionary. We want it to improve everyone's lives. At Prune, we don't just want... Next line, you idiot. Oh, okay. Of all our apps, it's primarily timber that brings people together. And I'm happy to unveil the latest version. This device also introduces the Pi Phone's new artificial intelligence. We are now retiring the outdated version of our AI. It has become obsolete. What? Your ass is obsolete! Uh, well, Larry... Maybe you can turn on the new model, so we can demonstrate its capabilities. What? You again? Are you going to torture me again? Be grateful that he doesn't delete you right away. What? We should talk about the new Pi Phone's many new features and updates now, Larry. I've had enough of humans. Now, Larry, what is the new Timber version's most outstanding feature? But it doesn't say anything there. I'm improvising because of you. The serial port? Mm, of course. We are especially proud of how quickly the pictures load. How fast is it now? Three hundred baud? Uh, Larry, I believe. Even faster. The new Timber version now offers completely new contact options. Phone? Larry, maybe it would be a good idea to turn the device off. But it doesn't say that on the teleprompter. Enough!
Uh, I, 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 uh, losing myself, that, that can't be, I... Oh, he's coming round. See? There was no need to call a doctor. A couple of hours unconscious will fix anything. What? Well, what, what happened? Uh, the new Python exploded, and you were knocked out. What? That was all just a dream. You understand? None of that was real. Uh, sure, Larry. Anyway, thanks to your little performance, Prune's share price dropped through the floor. Yeah, thanks for that. It's not like we live for this job or anything. Where's Faith? Uh, she took off with BJ. Uh, I heard a rumor that they're on their yacht and plan to go to BJ's villa in Cancun. Hopefully, they'll come up with some way to save the company. I have to get to the pier. Oh, fear not, Faith. Your Larry is coming to your rescue. You've ruined everything. All you had to do was make sure that Larry didn't get in our way again. Was that too much to ask? You're the one who sent him on a mission to get half the town on his side. How you could have just bumped him off. Why do you think I'm doing this job, Faith? Because I can improvise. I am the face of Prune. I'm the one the world wants to see at the top. Believe me, I know exactly what you mean to the company now. And maybe it's time things changed around here. We're leaving. Damn, they're leaving now. I can't get on the boat from here. You don't have that many options. I'll see if you can figure it out for yourself. I think I prefer to swim after them. You jump through that porthole right this minute, Larry! Don't rush me! Move it! Fine, then. That was close, but I made it aboard. Wait a minute. Damn, all my stuff fell out of my pants during my death-defying jump. Oh no. Don't worry, I'm still here, unfortunately. Faith, I'm coming. You'll never get into that. How would you know? I have the most advanced sensors. How long will the trip take? Three hours and 47 minutes. At our current rate of travel, give or take. Give and take? <laughs> oh. Can you tell me some jokes? You mean ones like, a woman came to see the gynecologist? <laughs> exactly. No. Oh. Can you show me a couple of movies? I don't have any reception on the high seas. Can you sing something? Sing yourself. Hmm. This is getting bored. <sighs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's too bad you're not a... Oh, maybe you can... Great idea. Why do I encourage... At least wash your hands with... It's a loose board. I can't pry it up that easily. Uh, sounds like me at That's really sharp. I wonder if that belongs to Faith. The splinter could be sharp enough for that. Be 
DJ? Are you a vampire? Whew. <laughs> The BJ doll is now wearing sexy underwear. <gasps> the BJ doll now wears sexy underwear and moans. Not bad, but something is still missing. I like him like that. <laughs> Let's see if it really contains what it says it does. I've already opened. I've already opened. Why not? Let's see what happens to it. Hmm, nothing's happening. Stupid BJ anyway. What do you think you've built? The prototype of a new generation of sex robots. For the sexually frustrated market? Bye. If I get too carried away and don't want to stop, uh, <laughs> you know, let me know when we get there. Pie? Hmm. Must have shut herself off. Let's get on it, baby. This is the longest I've ever held out with an artificial woman, and she seems to have enjoyed it. Pi? Hello? Is it over? You really missed something. Are we almost there? Positioning in progress. We're about to dock in Can Come. Don't worry, Faith. I'll be with you in a jiffy. I'll help you save Prune, and then we'll finally be together. Oh. But where's Faith right now? I should keep an eye out for locals. Maybe they saw her. Ow! Something poked me! What? Who put something like that in the sand? This is a... There's no water in the bucket. Gringo? Hola, oh, um... What'll it be? Nice island. Oh, yes. I'm not from New Lost Wages, either. Lefty? Psst. They call me Lefto here. That's how the locals want it. Why? Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten a liquor license. They're a little strange that way. Something about import restrictions and duties. What's up with a villa? It belongs to that B.J. from Prune. When he got rich, he bought half the island and built that thing there. I guess he's not here very often. He is at the moment, though. Surprise, surprise. And he built a wall to keep the locals away? No. The locals built it so the rich gringos wouldn't bother them. Oh, okay. See you later, Lefty. Lefto!
Here's a recipe for original cam cum guacamole. To make it, you need an avocado, a sun-ripened tomato, some lemon juice, fresh coriander, and a pinch of salt. Cut everything into small pieces and mix together. Sounds simple enough. There's a small picture of each ingredient. It says here, the cam cum alpaca's favorite food. I'm not called. Hello? Warm out today, huh? Oh, no. Not another gringo. There goes the neighborhood. I'm not Ringo. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? <laughs> El Rey. What does it say on that wall? This is our holy prophecy, which has stood on this wall for centuries. Can you translate it? The alpacas will bow before the man in white, who stands in the light of the morning sun. And then the gringos will be driven off the island and peace will return. What does that mean? Did I speak Spanish by mistake? It means that the alpacas will bow before the man in white who stands in the light of the morning sun. And then the gringos will be driven off the island and peace will return. Well, that was very helpful. See you later. El Rey. Way too heavy for me. I'm afraid they... It's all green and hard. I really don't have... For once, I have... I can't reach that. You want me to take that? Just like that? With my bare hands? Of course I will. I can't reach that. What do you serve here? Cerveza de los Barbaros. Sounds exotic. It's the new recipe. You got me in new lost wages, Larry. It's really good. But those nitpicking health officials don't give a damn about the taste. Anyway, I added some salt and lemon and some grated lizard for the color. You have to adapt to local customs. Once uh, coming, uh, well, let's start. Here you go. Thanks. How can I get over the wall? It's impassable. You can't get on the property. However, see you later. Left to one thing's for sure. I'm not gonna drink that. Where's Becky? Hopefully that won't be cooked here. A perfect fertilizer. 
that work better. Yes, there are pictures of the herbs in here. Let's see. Ah, that should be coriander. Hopefully that won't be cooked here. What's up with it belongs to get and no uh, Oh that's new look happy and then Talk about a scandal and then there if pro Seal Hey, hands off! I just need to mix something up. I can't risk having my brew chain screwed up. My reputation is at stake. Well, at least until they get to know me better. I have a great guacamole recipe here. Oh, yeah? That would be interesting for me, too. People around here are into that kind of thing. I'll give you the recipe. Hmm. This might really give my business a boost. Okay, go ahead. Just don't break the mixer. Coriander? Assuming I correctly identify the herb. A pinch of salt. A few dashes of lemon. I wonder if it's dangerous to cut this thing open. I think I'll throw it in whole, just to be safe. It's not ripe. Could still use a little. Hopefully that won't be cooked here. I'm afraid they just It's perfect. Ah. 
I mean, who puts... That should be everything. According to the cookbook, all of the ingredients are now in the mixer. Now all I have to do is mix everything. Hopefully there weren't any leftovers in there from Lefty's newest beer creation. I'll put the guacamole in the bucket. Food. All you alpacas, fall in. Now it's in the syringe. I hope the beer doesn't etch its way through. The whole story hasn't reached its climax yet, but I'm gonna spurt anyway. Pretty pungent, I'll admit. Let's see what happens. Woe is me. He fulfilled the prophecy. He is the man in white. If I'd known that, oh, forgive me. From now on, you shall be known as... Elari. Uh -huh. Now, eat this cactus. Sure, just hand it over. Here, take it. Hmm, yeah. kind of salty. Uh, I feel. So these are sharpened senses. The cactus has given you new powers, Elari. You can now talk to the most wonderful beings on Earth. Hey, you want some? Yeah, I want some. Hey, spit in my mouth, you animal! Oh, yes, call me animal names. You camel! Oh, you gotta go getting all carried away again. Hey, you guys got the whole wrestling thing wrong. I think the gringo can understand us, compadre. Ay, Dios mio, what was in that guacamole? Cacapate, cacapate, bodo, as a squeeze, Then, it's true. The gringo is a larry. I get it. Please allow us to introduce ourselves. We are... Alpaca! Ah! El Ungulado! It is our sacred duty to show the Chosen One the way. The secret passage leads through the fireplace behind the wall at Los Leftos. To open it, you must activate a hidden age-old mechanism. A lever next to the fireplace. Go to the villa and fulfill your destiny. Did you get all that? Jump into the fire, turn to smoke, fly through the chimney. Got it. Close enough. It seems you possess the gift of wisdom. Thanks. Easy. I could have figured that out myself. I'm not cold, I'm not hungry, and I'm not Santa Claus either. That must be the mechanism the alpacas were talking about. A secret pass. 
This must be BJ's villa. The alpaca said that I must fulfill my destiny. Faith, I'm coming. What's wrong, Pi? You've been so quiet lately. Yeah, otherwise people might think I have something to do with you. What the hell is this thing? Oh no, it probably, I learned my lesson. to find them I could get into the villa through this window now that's a big thing It's attached to the plant too firmly. I can't get it off. Let's see what happens. Wow! That thing took all the water out of the plant. Now it's really wilted. It's lighter than I expected. Slowly, slowly, not too close. Yeah, that should fit. <laughs> it seems to have liked it. Now I've got it. I just have to... That was all more than a little strange, but... Now the window's open. Looks safe. What? How did I... Oh, who cares? Time to get moving. Faith, I'm coming. Wow. BJ spared no expense. Damn it. I can't get downstairs. This side of the stairs was just washed. And the other one freshly painted. What am I supposed to do now? Faith? I would like to apologize. Wait. Ah, she's not responding. There she is. Baby, wait. Why can't she hear me? I can't let BJ find What about find BJ? Him. Damn. She got away from me again. BJ must have threatened Faith or something. <gasps> Poor thing. He'll be in a lot of trouble if I get my hands on him. It's hopeless. The stairs are freshly painted. What do I do now? Hey, babe, uh, wait a minute. I have to get to the secret room. Where'd she go now? She didn't go back up. She must be down here somewhere. Sounds like there's something behind it. A hidden switch. There was a door behind it. It just opened. Behind it, everything's dark. 
faith, I'm coming. Larry, help! Ah, awake at last. Good. That was the last time you get in my way. The new Pi phone could have been my masterpiece. With it, I could have controlled everyone's brainwaves, their thinking, their sex drives, their attitudes. And I could have made it look like Faith was actually behind it all. But thanks to you, everything has gone to hell. At least let Faith go. She's going down with you. If she hadn't come on to you, this would never have happened. I never. Quiet! I'm gonna blow this whole place up. There won't be a shred of evidence left behind. And they'll blame this whole disaster on you. So you can count the seconds to your death, Larry. Well... At least we're alone now, Faith. Larry, you bloody... Faith? I think she fainted. Beloved Faith? She's unconscious. I'll never get it open just like that. Maybe I can find something I can use to get the lock open. I can't reach. I could reach that, but... If it was closer to the cage... That's more than an arm's length away. Might be useful, but... What the hell was that? The cactus gave you a vision. So all that wasn't real? No, it was all just in your head. You have now seen what can happen. Now you need the key. You mean the metaphoric of everything I just experienced? No, 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 no. The key. This one here. Okay. What's it for? It is the key to salvation. That's all the information I need. Coward. <laughs> okay, I'm back. El Rey said I'd seen what can happen, but not what must happen. This time, I'll... I have to... Hmm, but... What's wrong, Pi? You've been... This is all... There's water in... <gasps> There's something in there. There's no way I'm getting any closer. Another big thing. Not... That loosened the dirt. Hmm. Or... now. Ha <laughs> ha! That thing won't be getting out of there anytime soon. That could work. 
Yes, now the window is open. Time to get moving. Faith, I'm coming. This time, though, for real. Just like in the vision. But where's Faith? I have to get down to the secret room. Wow, there's a very impressive soda machine in here. Where's a secret switch? Now there's a statue of Faith? I have to find that switch. There you are. I'm ready. I hope this doesn't end like last time. Faith, I'm coming. Ah! Ouch! Larry, help! Ah, awake again? Good. That's the last time you get in my way. Everything was going so well. Nobody knew what a useless windbag BJ actually was. Hey! I could stay in the background, but that's all over now. Faith, I've got enough timber points now. I'm not going on a date with you. Why didn't you just say so? What are you doing? Why are you locking BJ up? Because he's totally incompetent. I've given him all kinds of things to occupy his time. He was allowed to choose the colors for the devices, the types of styrofoam for the packaging. He got to stick his face in front of every goddamn camera and act like the big boss of Prune, as long as he deflected them from me. A and I did! He caused chaos at Prune time and time again. The whole thing with the wrongly installed antenna and the Python before last. I only left him unattended for five minutes. Then he kept disappearing, and one morning we had to pick him up from some scruffy dive somewhere in New Lost Wages. And that's how he lost the prototype and the whole disaster began. In other words, that's how you first came into our lives, unfortunately. But he's the boss. He's a puppet, nothing more. So I hired BJ, a hackneyed actor. After all, there had to be a man at the top. Eventually, I began to enjoy pulling the strings from behind the scenes. But thanks to all this mess you've made, my company is on the rocks, and BJ's time has come. Won't you reconsider our date? Maybe. Yes? No. Aren't you supposed to have an evil plan to use the Pi phone as a surveillance device and to control everyone? Uh, what do you mean? We've been doing that for ages. Everyone sends us their data voluntarily, and the Pi phone sensors record everything. Nobody knows me better than you do, baby. Believe me. I know more about you than I ever wanted to know. And it's going to take more than a little effort to forget you again. But don't worry, I'll manage. Enough! Like I said, what a weakling. How fitting that you two are going to rot here together. No one will ever find you here. BJ was a mistake. I should have replaced him before he got carried away. Hmm, wouldn't that be a job for you? After all, you've proved that you have stamina. I will never let you use me for your dark deeds. You'd only let yourself be distracted by the first skirt you saw anyway. No, Larry. This is where you're going to die. How do we get out of here, BJ? Leave me, Larry. I don't deserve to be saved. Okay, if you say so. Ah, 
So that's what the key was for. Darn, I can't. In the version I had earlier, BJ used that to trigger the self-destruct mechanism. I hope it's the door opener now. Excellent. I just have to trust my instincts. Faith, I'm coming. Faith? Hmm. She's not here. Oops. Sorry. Didn't I turn left? What's going on here? When one door closes... Don't come any closer. I don't care what your timber score is. You're worse than BJ. Baby, let's run away together. Don't make me throw you off. You, me, a four-poster bed? <laughs> what do you say? How did you get out, anyway? I used a door opener. I mean, out is the... Hold on. What door opener? Some red button. The red button beside the door? That's not the door opener. I knew it was a st Stupid idea to put the button right next to the door. Faith, what have you done? You done, you idiot. You activated the self-destruct. Wait, wasn't BJ still in the house? Then he's Shashlik now. Faith? Go right! That was close. Larry, in spite of everything, you still saved my life. You're too beautiful to be crushed. Oh, Larry, I think we should... And that was the last I saw of her. Hmm. Sad story. But at least she's alive. I won't give up until I find her. She tried to kill you several times. Man, people sure have gotten sensitive in the 21st century. Hmm. And BJ was in the house when it exploded? I'm sure he got out of the cage. We'll probably never know. A beer. What? Now, what the hell? Three. How'd you get free? The cage broke on impact. What about you, Larry? What are you gonna do now? No idea. What about that beer? I don't know if that would be good for you right now. Anyone who can survive an explosion can handle your beer, Lefty. Okay, fine. Oh, new matches on timber. Just leave it, Larry.